Now this turned up all right. Uh, it's a Terminator T2 snapper. I like the snapper case. I really do like this snapper case. Way better than the UHD. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Oh, nostalgia. Look at that. I'll be back. Um, I'll be back. Open the snapper up. And he won't be back. He got melted. <laughs> but I'll be back in T3, T4, T5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, I'll be back. Yeah, the cat, uh, the cat, the cat number 6044-1. I think that's the same as the other one. Yeah, in this box, yeah. Uh, same, same cat number 6044-1. So it's the same. The more things change, the more they stay the same. So, uh, yeah, this is cheap. This was cheap, so... I'll put it on so I have a listen and it's quicker to just listen to the LFE rather than listening to the surround because the LFE champ track it's it totally sticks out way different than all the other versions he'll be back he'll be back and he'll be back as well he'll be meowing back okay let's turn on The audience is listening. the other feature at Quite a bit of a rumble with this uh, with this score on the uh, on the LFE track or the baby boom, what it's whichever. It may not even be a CDS, it could be a 70 mil version. You know? Because there's something about the surround channel that I can hear in the surround channel that's connected with uh, in some way with the front. I ain't saying really too much there. Because it is a bit 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 difficult to uh, sort of like and boom, shh. and that boom, boom, sort of thing. It's a bit more, um, it's a 
bit more on the screen channel. So if I just mute the LCR channel, basic LCR. And it, it just sort of ends there. I think maybe on the the Rystrom Revisioned Remix, it's probably got a bit of a clunk maybe on the... Uh, but I haven't put that on, you know, so... I don't really want to play with that version anymore, really, because, frankly, I just don't like it. I prefer this mix. Which you can't get on uh, UH4K. Yeah, so much for that format, huh? Crap lousy format. I knew it was overrated a crap 4k overrated piece of garbage cash cow milking really but then look at the other side of the coin is that uh as long as you've got all the other formats and so you could play cater particularly to show off to your neighbor your subwoofer yeah that's if your subwoofer is playing accurately <laughs> along with your surrounds not that many people have got accurate surround configurations but that's um you know that's the LFE could be the baby boom could be the CDS LFE who knows it's just where they turn up at the uh the uh, Institute. I promise I will not kill anyone. Okay, let's go. Well, about now. Visiting hours is 10 to 4, Monday to Friday. <laughs> That's where it comes in. And then bang, bang, he shoots, the, shoots him in the knee. But what you see there is um, you're totally different otherwise you'd see a very sonic sort of like boom sort of thing where, and it'd probably go out sort of very wide-ish sort of thing like boom yeah with the dynamic range uh, with the uh, the, di yeah, the the width of the band width boom it would sort of go like that boom um, here it's just a totally different track entirely whereas all the gunshotting and that is carried in the LCR channels and mostly the center channel is pretty strong. Son of a bitch, she's escaping. <laughs> but, you know, you see a little bit of air range going down to 10 hertz, but whether it's true, false, but, you know, that's, what, that's the whole point of what Spectrum Lab is. Let's all try to remain calm. <laughs> Easy now, Sarah. <laughs> so I could hear it in this. I could hear the, uh, the splits around playing in the background. What's it look like when when she punches the guy? Is there a foley punch in the LFE, or is that all carried in the LC, or carried in the screen channels as it should be? Yeah, it's a bit of like extra like foley punch there around this range here. Yeah, it's a bit of extra foley. Typical typical sort of range where you that sort of range you feel it in your feel it hit you in the the chest. Um, but that only happens if it hits you in the chest at a certain sound pressure level. So see these these sort of pulses there. They're, they're kind of like boom, boom, with the bass drum. A bit, bit wide-ish, and changing them, and then you get all these very narrow, random frequencies, all sort of like playing. A bit of pink in there, a bit of pink. So that's more, that's more chest punch, and a little bit up there as well, and. 
Yeah. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> I told you I'd be back. Sarakama, come with me. <laughs> Alright, he's about to go liquid and go through the gate. Go, run, now. Like those little top end sort of like kind of sniffy whizzy Ricky says yeah so that's it Go and get a sound, go and get a uh, cinema setup sound system like mine, and then what you hear there is what I would hear here. <laughs>